Hello friends, welcome back to the Tom Cruise series I'm working about when he auditioned for me back in 1980. Salute. Anyway, I got all my Tom Cruise paraphernalia from Top Gun Maverick, the, the uh, leather jacket he wore, and I even have a Top Gun t-shirt. Anyway, um, I want to talk a little bit about when Tom auditioned for me, um, he uh, he basically was a mobile in a lot of ways because of the um, injury he had. So when I cast him, I told him, "I'm going to walk through the part. You watch me, and uh, you do what I do. You go where I went. Mark the blocking down here." And um, I think it really helped him in terms of my. Uh, when I was reading the lines, I had the intonation, and in those days, Tom's dyslexia was really bad. So I, I gave him a little hint with my intonations that um, how he was to do it. He did it fine. I, mean, I don't want to. Uh, he he's very talented, and he he got it very well. He just needed a little help on certain lines and stuff like that because of his condition. Anyway. Um, I thought I'd repay Tom. <laughs> uh, I watched the beginning, and I'm going to simulate my version of how Top Gun Maverick, this is going to be Top Gun Ombre, the Wes Milford version, <laughs> where I walk through the beginning scene. If you saw the movie, there's a very dramatic beginning with airplanes and jets and uh, the Lady Gaga song. And then Tom goes to a, it goes to his place where he's staying, and he has little breakfast, works on his plane a little, and then he goes on his motorcycle. His motorcycle, I have to figure out how I'm going to work this into my skit. This was on the back of his motorcycle, okay? And I don't have a motorcycle, so i got to come up with a way to work this. I saw sure Tom chose it because he... I think in the first Top Gun, he talked about his need for speed. Anyway, and, and look at this for simulation, huh? Where, where, uh, where'd y'all go? Uh, yeah, I can't, can't see with this one. Anyway, I'm going to use these at one point. And once again, I need these more. Oh, there you are. Um, once again, I did all the stunts. By myself, I didn't bring a stand-in in to do the falls and the sprats. Uh, anyway, um, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll come back afterwards uh, to discuss things. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed the firework beginning that I decided to use for these series. Have a nice day, and I'll talk to you soon.
the video I took an ending that went with um, the blob how many of you have seen the blob well in the end of the blob oh, spoiler alert they freeze the blob and a helicopter drops them off in the Arctic and the and it goes with the ending the end and then as they drop the blob down they say or is it just the beginning Anyway, I stole that ending from you. Um, I want to give you just a quick review of uh, Top Gun um, Maverick. And then um, in the future video, I'll, I'll go more into detail of the characterizations and everything like that. I want to say the, the movie really worked for me. Um, anytime I find any time you want to go back and see a movie again, and you don't get bored seeing the repeats of it. Uh, those are the best movies made. Think of It's a Wonderful Life, um, Charlie Brown Christmas, all these Christmas movies that you want to see over and over again. And for me, the Tom Cruise uh, movie that did that the most was Rain Man. And I always felt that um, Tom didn't get as much credit. I know Dustin was awarded for the Academy Award, yeah. And he won for that, uh, his portrayal of the Rain Man. And, um, but I think the movie works because of Tom's reaction um, to the Rain Man. Uh, I think that keeps the movie going. And once you, once you see him react, you know, you want to see it again. It, 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 it worked very well. Um, in this movie, Top Gun Maverick, it had that quality. You can, the cast was so excellent. There's, Really, no place you can go in the film and not be entertained. Um, the Hangman character, to me, stole the show. Uh, he had the uh, most defined personality and 
consistent with his lines and everything. Uh, my favorite part of the movie was when um, uh, Tom's friend, the son of his friend that died, um, uh, what was his name? Let me think. Um, Rooster. Anyway, Rooster at one point um, was told by Tom, you, you know, if you think up there, you're dead. And there's one point where uh, Rooster's forced to save Maverick, and um, Tom says, what were you thinking? And, and Rooster comes back with the reply, you told me not to think. And Tom's reaction to that really was on the Rain Man quality. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm, I'm going to come back and do more in the future, but... Um, I want to go over some of the characters there that really were outstanding in the movie, especially the girl. I think her name was um, Phoenix, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the presentation and you saw how suave I was. Um, and um, I'm going to put a little fireworks at the end because today happens to be the 4th of July. And I had this, in, this goal to have it set up for the 4th of July, by the 4th of July. Uh, unfortunately, we had some calamity here. We had a wind spurt that devastated our property and house and my car. Um, so we're kind of digging out of a hole here. So I'd like to do more, but in the future I will. Hopefully we can get our act back together. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Oh, by the name, my call name is Ombre.